Hello, Year 7. I'm back again uh, because you may remember the day after we took the test, I had marked all the tests and also I was a little bit annoyed that there was only three light questions out of nine on that end of topic test. So I gave you this piece of work which says test on it, as you all pointed out to me, but you didn't have to do it as a test. You had to do it using your revision notes, using your information so that you could complete this and demonstrate to me how much knowledge you had gained during this uh, light topic. So question one, name two different sources of light. So over the topic, we've talked about loads of different sources of light. We've talked about the sun, light bulbs, um, candles. We talked about fires. We talked about screens. So you could had um, a TV, your mobile phone, your tablet, loads of things that have screens that light up. So we wanted a source of light, something that created its own light. These sentences explain why you have a shadow on a sunny day. Complete the sentences using words from the box. So light travels in straight lines. Your body is opaque. Check I've spelled that right. Uh, so light that hits it is absorbed or reflected. It is not transmitted through it. Materials can be opaque, translucent, or transparent. What does transparent mean? So transparent means that light can pass through it or that the object will transmit light. How is a translucent material different to a transparent one? So the key word here was uh, scattered. Okay, so if you remember, light is scattered as it passes through the translucent material. Okay, I learned my lesson in the last video about having to put my microphone down, so I have already drawn this. It says, Joe is reading a book. Draw a light ray to show how she sees the book. Put arrows on your ray to show which direction the light is traveling. And the mark scheme says, both arrows must be present and pointing in the co correct direction for you to have a mark. So you need an arrow that goes from the light to the book to Joe's eyeball. Okay, one continuous line arrows pointing in the right direction. Number five, the diagram below shows a plain mirror with a ray of light hitting it. Complete the diagram by drawing the reflected ray. Here was me, all smug. Okay. So you have to draw the straight line with the ruler. You have to make sure that these angles are uh, identical, ideally. Okay, so a reflected ray drawn so that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. It does say, allow for some error if protractors were not available, and I did not give you a protractor. So, as close as possible. Look at the diagram in part A. What is the name of the dashed line at right angles? This thing here. No. Nope. This dashed line here. Oh yes, that makes more sense. What's the name of that? So do you remember something that was perpendicular to the surface you were reflecting from was called a normal. A piece of paper does not reflect light in the same way as a mirror. Describe what happens to light when it hits the piece of paper. So because light is translucent, we'll go for that same keyword, light will be scattered. in many different directions. Okay, next question. Draw a ray of light on the diagram to show how the person can see the ball. So remember that these are mirrors here. So we know that light is gonna reflect off those mirrors at uh, 
the same angle they bounce on. So I know the light ray from the ball is going to go that way. It's going to hit that mirror. It's going to move down the periscope. So I need an arrow to show that direction. Then it's going to hit that mirror and it's going to reflect at the same angle. So I'm going to get a diagram that looks like this. So in the mark scheme, it says a continuous line drawn from the ball to the eye. I apologize if you can hear the drums in the background. With angles of incidence and reflection drawn approximately equal at each mirror. So if we were to compare these angles, we would see that those angles are very similar. Okay, I'm back. I just had to take a little break and go and tell the drummer not to drum yet because I'm making a video for you. Mm -hmm. Describe one other use for a plane mirror. So remember that plane mirrors were flat mirrors. So where else could we find flat mirrors? So uh, you might use it for uh, doing your hair or your makeup. You might choose uh, mirrors in a car to help the driver see. You could also have chosen, um, sometimes they put mirrors at junctions, don't they? So you can see around a corner. Or you might have noticed in the drink section of Tesco's, uh, they have a mirror in the drink in the corner of the drink section so that the shop assistants can see who is hiding in the drink section. Okay, see around corner. So any sensible suggestion? If you're not sure whether yours is a sensible suggestion, come and ask me and I will tell you. All right, number six. Jenna shone a ray of light towards the glass block. She drew a cross at two points along the ray and then drew a straight line between them. The diagram shows part of her results. Explain why Jenna marked the ray of light in the way she did instead of just drawing along the ray. So, um usually we would choose something because of accuracy so this method would be more accurate i think if you remember we tried to this experiment it was quite difficult to draw where the line had gone where the light ray was um so it's more accurate because her hand would make a shadow as well if she tried to draw along the ray she wouldn't be able to put a ruler along the ray because a glass block would be in the way so we'll add a few of those notes no shadow Okay, question B. As the light goes into and out of the glass block, it changes direction. Complete the ray of light on the diagram to show what happens when the light goes into and comes out of the block. So you'll remember that when light passes into a different material at an angle, particularly air to glass, this one is gonna slow down. So the light ray is gonna bend a little bit and then when it hits the air again, it's going to go that direction. Please make sure you're using a ruler. You can see that uh, I have not on that diagram. You must use a ruler. I will even write the word there so you know. I'm setting a bad example. Question seven. The diagram shows a human eye. Fill in the missing labels. So we have got um, an iris, we've got the lens, and this bit at the bottom is the optic nerve. The retina contains rod cells and cone cells. There are three kinds of cone cell, and each type detects one of the primary colors of light. What were the three colors that the cone cells can detect? So you may remember. The primary colors of light were red, green, and blue. You are giving a presentation on how the eye works. You will show the diagram in part A as part of your presentation. So this diagram here. Produce another screen of the presentation to summarize what the different parts of the eye do. Include at least three different parts. Two of the marks for this question are for producing a presentation which is clear and easy to read. So I'm just going to pause now. I'm going to fill all this information in and then I will come back to you in a second. 
Okay. Uh, so, you only had to pick three parts, but I've written every single part that was on the, di the diagram because you could choose any of those parts. So, the cornea is the transparent covering that lets light through into the eye. The iris changes to control the size of the pupil. The pupil lets light into the eye and also controls how much light enters the eye. The lens helps to focus light. The retina converts light to nerve impulses and the optic nerve sends nerve impulses to the brain. The diagram below shows a ray of white light passing through a prism and forming a spectrum on a white screen. Complete the missing colors in the spectrum. So you remember we learnt Roy G. Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Sam puts a red filter in a beam of white light. Explain what happens to the light that hits the filter. So you remember when you put a filter in, um, like a red filter, only red light can be transmitted through. All the other colors of light would be absorbed. Okay. So, you need both marks to get this mark. So you need to say that what happens to the red light, but you also need to say what happens to all the other colors. Okay, this piece of work is going to stay in your book. So once you have written all of these notes, find a glue stick so that you can glue this in, even if it's just a strip down one side so that it stays at the end of this light topic. And then we will be ready to start the next topic in our next lesson, which will be new and exciting for us. Well done. Keep up the hard work and I'll see you soon.